camera. People want to call them in cars or in trucks. Right. Oh, looky here. Corelli might have something for Rutman. He got close. May have touched him just a little bit to let him know he was there. Corelli looking for his first win of the year, working on Rutman. Likewise, is after his first victory in the Roush colors. He won this race a year ago. And Bickle seizes the opportunity oh, to make a three track contact. Pass. Tap him and tap him and tap him, and eventually you get him out of the way. And there we see Skinner losing some spots to the seven, and there's a leader. Corelli on the inside of Rutland goes to the corner, and Corelli has the lead. Here comes Bickle. Bickle and meanwhile, here comes the wreck. Right into turn one, and the truck is, is that on the side? On the side. Now, swipe down, and I can't get a number on it yet. It stopped that way. It's Mike Bliss. Now, that is the weirdest on-truck camera shot of the series thus far. That's what it looks like when you end up oh, looking Mike like Bliss this. is climbing out. <laughs> this is even weirder. T.J. Clark has somebody's wheel on the left rear of Bliss's, is that the right front? The right front of Mike Bliss's truck is gone. And Bliss is using that vantage point to, uh, I'll bet, try to eyeball whoever got him in that predicament. Bliss is okay. The former USAC Silver Crown champion climbs out. It's been a frustrating weekend for him. He's not, he's not happy. He's not a happy camper. I want to see the replay. I don't want to go to the uh, I don't want to go to the ambulance. Now well, he's gonna to go to the ambulance anyway. Let's see if we get another look at this. He's already up. Yeah, we're gonna we see there he is. We're gonna have a red flag condition because we've got some fence damage down just past the start finish line where Bliss was up in the fence and has knocked the catch fence down. So we're going to have to stop and fix that little baby. That'll be our second red flag of the night. Let's see again what Speedy has to say about it. Watch for Bliss's colors. There he went, right, right up over the camera. Yep. Bobby Gill was on the inside of him. Looked like when they went by. There's the fence that we're talking about. I was talking about. We see the, all the damage. Digged it pretty good. And there's a speaker that tells the fans what's going on. A PA speaker. Well, they, that's not going to be telling them anything because it's a broken souvenir for somebody. Hmm. Catch fence did exactly what it's supposed to do. As Bliss got wow, up look into at the that. fence. Man, he tore it up a ton, didn't he? Man. Truck from there went all the way down into turn one where the banking finally lifted it up over onto its side and it slid back down the banking and came to a halt. Bliss is okay, but very unhappy. And we are under a red flag that looks like it might last a while because that's going to take some fixing. Sure is. Mm. Well, folks just standing there kind of looking at that and scratching their heads. We see that Bliss's truck is back on uh, the ground. All right, here's the one we want to see. This will be Bliss, onboard camera, real time. Look and listen. How's that for a ride? That's amazing. That is amazing. Man. Speedy's. He is right with it. Ricky Rudd in the quicker state viewing. We ride with him. Spin and turn one. Bobby Hillen against the wall again. We'll see if the yellow comes out. Yeah, I don't believe he's going to get off of that wall. But let's see. Well, there we go. No yellow. Two laps to go. White flag will come out next time around. Here comes Ricky Rudd moving to the inside of Dale Earnhardt. He's not going to be able to pass him at the moment. Let's see what happens on the final lap of the race. Here comes the field down for the white flag. One more to go. Rudd is inside of Dale Earnhardt as they go into turn number one and both of them spin. And Jeff Bodine takes the lead.
maybe Russ Wallace and them knew what they were doing by not uh, coming into the pits. Wow. The final short track race of 1980s of the decade ends. And boy, it had a tremendous ending. As Ricky Rudd and Dale Earnhardt spun on the last lap, giving Jeff Bodine, who was running in third position, the win. And more importantly, Rusty Wallace, who was running in 10th position, finished ahead of Dale Earnhardt. He finished seventh. Earnhardt finished 10th. And so he maintains the lead. Let's go to Dick Bergman, who's with Childress. Well, Richard, you had quite a view of that thing. What do you see happen? They was just racing hard. I, they was just racing hard. I couldn't feel Ricky got in the deal. You know, hell, I don't know. Y'all seen it, too. What were you telling your driver? You were just talking to Dale. What were you telling him, and what was he telling you? And I just told all of them to be cool, you know. We just can't afford no trouble now. We do. We give it our best shot. That's the way it goes. Now they're looking up pit road now. The crews are going up pit road. Everybody's headed up pit road right now. Both the children's crew is on its way up pit road, and also the Quaker State crew on the way up pit road. Right, and go. while all this is happening, Jeff Bodine has pulled into victory lane and wins the Holly Farms 400. We'll be right back. We'll finish to the Holly Farms 400. The guys running first and second crash out on the last lap. Ricky Rudd and Dale Earnhardt giving Jeff Bodine his win, and there he is in victory lane. Let's go to Dick Bergman, who's with Ricky Rudd. Ricky, what happened up there? Well, I don't know. Dale and I got together. His handling went away after that last restart, and I got on the inside of him. I felt like he came down on me. I don't know. All I know is we got together. You know, I hated that happen. We were going to have a good run for the, for the victory there. You guys had a conversation after this was all over. What was said? I think we're discussing the weather, I believe. Just, uh, <laughs> tell him it was a pretty warm day out there today. Uh, Ricky Rudd with a good run, but it didn't end in victory lane for him here this afternoon. Everybody's caught, and the weather is very nice indeed. And here's a replay now of the action that occurred when the two came into the pits. That's Chocolate Myers, who is having a discussion with some of the members of the Ricky Rudd team. There's Larry McReynolds holding back one of the other members. And here comes an NASCAR official to say, OK, guys, cool it. The race is over. And Dick Bergman is with Dale Earnhardt. Dale, what happened up there? Not really seen on TV. Well, how do you how do you see it? You you obviously were involved. I gave him the whole bottom lane. He knocked the shit out of him. That's what I uh, Dale Earnhardt obviously upset about this situation. Obviously not. <laughs> how will this affect your championship view from here on? You got three more to go. You think? They ought to find that son of a bitch and let make him sit out the rest of the year. I think. So on live television, we have candid comments from Dale Earnhardt involved in this incident with Ricky Rudd on the last lap of the Holly Farms 400. Earnhardt was leading the race, got taken out. He finished 10th. Rusty Wallace went on to maintain the Winston Cup points lead. And, well, Jeff Bodine, who was running third, came out as the winner of the race.